mistakes will definitely not end up well here. You're nasty. Straight down the ship. Straight down what ship? Just go straight. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's too bad. Here it G'day peeps, Ronnie Dale, Four Wheeling Australia. Welcome back to part two of the mini series of Moab. We are in Moab, Hell's Revenge. We have just done most of the mile stuff and things are about to get a lot tougher, gradually. Grab a coffee, stay tuned, relax and enjoy. the camp in the dark. I've taken over. <laughs> what time do you call this? <laughs> no 37. Yes, things are starting to go a lot more up and down and a lot of different angles, steep inclines, steep declines. And as Justin said, the time is no 37s. Well, he's making a good point there. He is on 33s and he is keeping up just as well as the rest of us. Got a wheel up. Just out of curiosity, I would like your opinion on which vehicle do you think has surprised you the most out of the Ram and the Ranger. Now they're both at different disadvantages. The Ram is huge, long and heavy. The Ranger has smaller tyres and doesn't have front and rear lockers. So I'm really interested to know your opinion on which has done the best so far. That is why this thing makes everything so easy. Comparison. Let's have a flex off. Okay. A flex off? Let's have a flex off right now. Oh, I'm not even trying. We'll get the Jeep up there, then the Ranger, then the Ram. Okay. All right. you got a, anyone got a measuring tape? Uh, yeah, actually I do. You do? Yeah. Is it in millimeters or inches? Inches. Okay. So I'm the only one that can read it. So I win! <laughs> Part of the challenge is to continue up here from there. Nah, the Ranger will have to roll back off there. <laughs> And the range is definitely lost. You can win the uh, most wheels off the ground. Nothing. 
in this little truck now, huh? Driving it up? Yep. Oh, it was on three wheel. Back it up some, it was on three wheel. Now, unlike Ronnie, who has no rear overhang, I have a flatbed. So I need to take a slightly different line so I don't do a toolbox. Not even a scrub. And there we go. And that's how you do that? You know, people often argue that big rams and F-250s are far too big for tracks and trails, but I think this is kind of proving it wrong a bit. Yes, I know there's not big trees and bushes everywhere, but they are bloody capable off-road. Like, just what you've seen so far, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm damn impressed. So if you owned one, would you take your 2500 out there? That's what I want to know. That's really sketchy, this one. It's going to have to go right over this side. You have to go right over to the edge here. Right over. Yeah. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Keep going that way. Yep, hold it. How's he looking at the back? Yep. Not too much. Is it good? Go the Ranger. That is a bit sketchy, eh? Yeah. That even felt sketchy in the Jeep. <laughs> it's like, check this out. There's a hole in there. He, we had to have his front tyre off the black into the ground yeah, no thanks. just to get him to no. Do you want to look first or you prefer not to see it? What? You have to like almost put your wheel off the edge there. Okay. Because you're so wide. It will, it will feel wrong because Justin kept turning that way but I had to keep getting that way. Okay. I'll put some logs in the hole as well. There's a big hole on your right on your right hand side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. I've got to say, I think the 37s do help a bit. Yeah. <laughs> what did the uh, what I drag while good? Receiver and differential. Good. Good day, mate.
How awesome is that view? On these rocks and you got the snowy mountains in the background. That is pretty epic. And here we are at a place called the Hot Tubs. You'll see in a second what it's all about. This was one of the highlights of the Moab trip for me. And I think for the other guys too. It was pretty hectic and pretty awesome. Tub in America. Feel good. That was that yeah, was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Got this stuff that one. Poop. <laughs> now let's go do the other one. Yeah. No. You won't get the other one. Go the Ranger. I wonder if they've ever had a ranger do the hot tub here in Moab. I would say that's definitely a no. You think a ram's ever done? No. Two first. Set from the, the From the Aussies. <laughs> yeah, from the Aussies. I'll take it. That was cool, man. It was cool. That was really cool. Really cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Wow.
Sorry, everything's falling on me. How'd I gotta get up that? Look at my side. No, I don't want to. Look at my side. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> That's a long way down, man. It's a rainbow. It's yeah, a rainbow. Not the cheap under it. Yeah. Might be worth something, man. Oh, nah. This Gee, thing is this smashing it. If I was in one of the other two cars, I think I would have had a, quite a few pucker moments by now. It's at about this part of our adventure I'm finally getting used to the Jeep. I now know it's departure angle, approach angle and ramp over angle. I now feel comfortable with the wheelbase and finally a bit more comfortable or have a bit more finesse with the automatic transmission because it is so different to drive. Oh, there's a long way to go. You ever seen dark on this stuff? That's not good. Oh, you can't find black in black, can you? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get, we need the whole ass, to be honest. We do. Is there a hole on your side? No. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's too bad. It's not that bad though. Not for us. Sitting in there, I thought it was going to be like, because all I can see is that and that. You know right. where I wouldn't want to be right now? Where? Yeah. In the ram. Oh, the ram will do that. Someone's lost a lot of oil there. Yeah, yeah he's going to have to put his wheels off the edge. Yeah. Alright. Yes, so we done the hot tub and and we thought, oh yeah. Then we looked at the map and we got a long way to go. A long way to go. Oh well. Well, we're not going to get anywhere standing here. <laughs> oh, you didn't just do that. <laughs> Alright, so I've lost my navigator. She wasn't real impressed with this. And I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing right now, but this doesn't look right. Doesn't look good. Billy the Power Ranger can do anything. Let's get this thing back into first gear. This does not feel right at all. Here we go. Oh. That is awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. Did you just seen from this angle here, if you had gone any more that way, really? You were way too far over. That felt so good. I didn't know if you could see me, I was like, No, I wasn't even looking at you. <laughs>
Ain't no step for a stepper. That was cool. That was fun. You ready to buy a ramp? Yeah, you need one back in August. I do actually to pull the horse away, but I ain't gonna happen at w Australia prices. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just need That's a to mortgage. The, move to the US then. Yeah. Which way y'all wanna go? Well, it's the option. Yeah, so this is. That was the dragon's tail that we just come down. Okay. So this is the option you have now. We can finish uh, Hell's Revenge. Yeah. Or we can go back the way we came up this morning and takes us closer to the campsite. But we just came down the dragon's tail. Nope, we didn't come to the dragon's tail yet. You got a bet? Yep. But it's, but it's a dragon's tail. Hot tubs. Looks all good. Dragon's tail. Because now we got to make a choice. We either finish the main, or actually, yeah, finish the main, or we go down the way we came in this morning. Yeah, because remember how I said when when you headed up there, how I said, oh, I feel like we should have gone the other way? Hang on. Yeah, here. so we came around, we did the black hole, we did the hot tubs. Yeah. This is here though. And then we come down here. Yeah, but this is where we come out of Hell's Gate. We could have turned left. Should have turned left, not right. Well, I wouldn't say should have, because that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. So, so, but we now have a choice. We can either continue down and finish this way or we cut across or we cut across which is what old mate up the top said and yeah. come down and he said go the, back the same way he said the quickest way is to take that that okay. bypass and then we know what the across. tracks are because we're in dark yep. yeah so i vote we cut across come out closer to the camp because we know that track yep yep the other way because because yep. old mate said he wouldn't take his he truck. wouldn't take his own car down there yeah he did it 12 years ago wouldn't do it again yeah so let's get let's head across yeah well that's that's my vote yeah your vote yep my vote your yep. vote Yep. Yep. Ah, chicken. <laughs> let's go the other way. <laughs> On with Torbs. <laughs> All right. right. Me and Torbs are taking the Ranger. Let's finish it. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> You're heading for the rainbow, aren't you? <laughs> Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop back first. Come this way. Yeah. Oh, I keep it straight because I can't see snosh. Yeah, I can just see. I could just see the sky. There's a lot of black to my left. There's a lot of black to my right. Oh, that's good. That's comforting to know. Yeah, you keep it more right. There's nothing to fall off. Yeah. I've got room on my side. You got the top insurance? The what? Did you get the top health cover? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all right, cool. That's it, hard. Not far to go now until we get the exit, but there's still a lot of fun to be had. And yes, I'm finally used to driving the Jeep towards the end of Moab. Torbs asked me the question earlier during the trip if I would ever consider replacing my Land Cruiser with this Jeep. My answer was hell no. However, would I own one? Yeah, I would own one as a toy car. They are so bloody capable and they are fun to drive. But with this one here, sometimes it feels like it's too good, like things are too easy. Things are less of a challenge. If you get stuck in one of these out in Moab, you are doing some really hardcore stuff or you've really gone off track. Keep it. 
So how's that, eh? A full day at Moab and no damage to any vehicle. So who did best? Who actually performed best with their vehicle? And for what reason? Comment down below while this video is still rolling, but it's coming towards the end. One last obstacle. Yep. Oh, it's actually a climb. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Oh, that's actually quite a scary climb. <laughs> Yeah, last off camera before we go out. That's the off camera. Yeah. All right. Go to first. You're gonna need your eyes on this one. Okay, I'm on the dirt. Is there more room on your side? Uh, you got about a foot. Now I can't see. Now it's just a ledge, so. <laughs> I'd like it if you stayed on your side a little bit more. Yeah. Look, there's a people who've been hugging this wall hard, eh? Yeah, I would hug this wall. <laughs> I don't think it gets much deeper than that. His uh, seatbelt is choking me. That is steep. I reckon that. I think he's going to bottom out there. I can't believe we just did Hell's Revenge. Nice ride, buddy. That was good, eh? You well done, us. mate. That was awesome. Well done, dude. Whew. That was really good. That was, that was fun. Hell's Revenge in a Ford Ranger and a 2500 Ram. Yep. I reckon there's got to be a couple of firsts there, right? Definitely. I don't know if a Ram's ever done it before. I reckon I reckon the amount of traction we had, we probably could have done the the crazy bit. Yeah. Now in Hell's Gate. Yeah. And I also think that Matt probably more comfortable with it now, but um, I think I still think we made a good call with that storm oh, coming dude. in. We made the right call. And, Definitely. And only because, look, that thing was so wet, and you know what? We didn't have that confidence by then either. If that if something went wrong with that ram out there, it's not coming no. back out. No. No. It's staying there. Yeah, to fix it on. It's fix it on the part. Yeah, there. it's coming out in part. Yeah. So, no, we made the right call then. Every now and again, you got to say no, I suppose. That's it. Hell yeah, dude! All right, hell's revenge. Yeah. What you think about that? You made it. You made it. Are you coming? Good. Nice. What would you think? Nice. Awesome. Well done, cracker. Absolutely yeah. Awesome. That was awesome, man. Well done. I'm pretty okay. impressed with the Ram. Does Ranger. that stuff ever get old or not? No. Never gets old, huh? Never. No. Impressed with the Ram. The Ranger. The Ranger. The Ranger's man of the match. No. I'm you, but that, that Jeep is unstoppable. Yeah. Like, some of the stuff I, I, I was like, eh, straight up. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, they're gold. <laughs> Thoughts on the Jeep today? It blew Does my mind. <laughs> 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 it's doing its own thing. It's the button, rather. Yeah, I won't hit the button again. I hit something else. Oh, it's a front de mista. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what. I've been using it all day. How funny is this? We've just got to camp. Hey, look, it's dark again. But, that's right, we had an awesome time. It was worth, definitely worth it. 
Time to set up, get this fire cranking. And a well-earned warm fire that was in very, very cold conditions. We had a few cold ones, reminisced on the entire day, but our trip is not over yet. We'll get to that in a second. But for now, I'd like to thank Justin from Patriot Campers for organising the whole Moab trip. And a special thanks to Matt for lending us his personal JL Jeep 137s, that absolute beast. We had a blast. And like I said, our trip is not over yet. This is what's coming up in the next part of Moab. Even though I'm freezing cold and wet.